Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Ivy Day. And today we're doing something different. I'm so excited because we're doing an Ivy transformation. We're gonna share the story of a dear friend and a longtime patient, Kat Rambolo, who's willing to show her surgical transformation. I hope you'll enjoy this episode and be inspired by Kat Rambolo's mommy makeover journey. Watch it. Quiet lang ha, but I want a mommy makeover. A mommy makeover? Yeah, so I don't know, I want my boobs, I want my stomach done, I want to look hot, you know? Full mommy makeover. Antonio, I have three kids and I think that's the major part of it which is why I'm not blaming them I love my kids to death but then you know there are battle scars on my body which I know I can enhance and make better you know for me I've been going to the IV clinic since day one I've been going here even before I was married so Dr. Ivy has seen me all throughout different stages in my life, pre-pregnancy, pregnant, married, not married, so they know. Everyone here in the IV clinic also know that I am very crucial or particular and critical about myself because I, you know, I like, I want to love and like what I see in the mirror and feel confident about myself. I really try to do everything naman that I can naturally, you know. Like, I'll eat well, I'll exercise. Like right now, I'm on weight training. I've tried Mar Baron Method. Um, name it, I've done it. Crash diets, no eating, eating a lot, you know, everything. But one thing that I realized is that it's not enough. If I can still do something about myself to become better and I can afford it naman with my own personal, you know, expenses. Why not, deba? And and at the, the same way, I feel that I'm 40 years old. My goal is to live until I'm 100. So I have 60 more years to live, right? So I'm not gonna spend that 60 years looking at that flab of mine and saying I should have done it sooner. I should have had it removed, you know. So it's it's such a frustrating thing that you know I'm working out, I'm dieting so much, and whenever I, you know, I stand or even some angles. You know, and I squeeze it. It's so frustrating. Like, like I look like a crazy woman. Like, talaga nung giggle talaga trying to rip it off. Like, I mean, I'm. I don't know if other people go through it too, or I'm just like uh, so critical about myself. I realize that it's not fat. So no matter how thin I get, even in fact, if I get thinner pa, there's gonna be more skin. This skin, it cannot be removed anymore because I, ha you know, they're battle scars from having babies, which I mean is fine with me. There's no other way to remove that excess skin permanently but through tummy tuck. Of course, it's scary. For anyone, it's scary. No matter what, it will always have um, risks, repercussions, you know, and all these thoughts in your head that parang, what if this happens, da 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 da. But at the same time, I'm always thinking, what if I don't do it? You know, if I can fix it, I will fix it, you know, and the thing is, I am going to doctors that I love and that I trust. I trust them with my life, I trust them with my skin with pretty much everything and I'm never gonna have regret when it comes to my body because it's my body and and you know what while I'm here on earth I'm gonna maximize it you know for sure I'm gonna make sure that I'm happy with it because you know what else am I gonna do you, you only live once I need to clear myself with a blood test, I need to clear myself with a PCR, and then the ECG, and we're good to go. Yes. One of the things that I'm glad that we spoke about also is that the difference between general anesthesia and sedation and epidural. So, you know, like with me, my mom, and my, yeah, actually my mom, 
kapag general anesthesia, gusto niya sa hospital. Kaya nga talaga gawin sa hospital kasi parang is sure, ganyan, ganyan. Thank God that with Tommy Tuck pala, there is also the alternative of doing epidural, correct? Yes. And sedation. So it's like when you give birth lang, di ba? Yes, yes, yes. So you are asleep, but they don't intubate you anymore. So it's not as, as nakakatakot as people may think. Okay guys, this is it. Today is my second day. Um, of going to the IV, so I I have I've been out of total of two times since my 14 days after I was vaccinated and after I got the antibodies test and PCR negative tests as well. Are you ready? This is it. This is the day um, that we've been waiting for. We've been preparing for this for the past few days. <laughs> what procedure are you on? I'm gonna do a tummy tuck. Is this the first time you're... First time? I need a paniculectomy, but sabay with my C-section, so that's not really considered, right? Because mm. so when they opened me for my C-section, when they pulled the baby out, while they, after they pulled the baby out, they already nipped a little bit of skin, mm. whatever they could, they allowed just yeah. to pull it down a little bit, but it's not enough, so... Okay. Very normal, though. Yes, very much. <laughs> sure, ah, sure, ah. So, so baby, yeah. So, pasado, pasado, clear. We're done with the test and I passed the exam. Oh my god, I'm cleared and I'm so excited to finally do this because I've been wanting to do this for so long and it's only now that I got the chance to because, you know, pandemic, number one, number two, I'm vaccinated, I've cleared, I'm passed, and I'm ready. I've never been more ready in my life. Yes, I'm gonna be a new woman after this. Cat 2.0, here we come! Guys, this is the last day I'm seeing this. <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye, good riddance. <laughs> underneath it's gone and I'm happy with it I'm sure she's gonna be very happy with the results it just has to be patient when all the healing and all the swelling goes away guys we are done and apparently I had so much fun without even remembering what I was doing but see that's what I'm saying when you're on something and you're in a good place in your heart and in your mind good vibes talaga lahat guys Everything I had, this is Chris and all the IV team here to document it. Only because I want you guys to see the real thing, what goes on. And you know, <laughs> I had fun. Hindi ko alam. Pero din ang happy vibes ako. Tino mo, say-say ako. Gosh, this is how it is. It's been eight weeks since my procedure, and I have to say that you can already actually see the effects. So at first, I was a bit scared because I mean of my butt, that it, the fat wouldn't stay. So I really had to take care of it. Like I would sleep on my sides, not on my butt, and then I would really, really follow everything that doc told me to do was drink hydrate and do my squats every day and exercises. And there you go. This is it. This is my eight week ass. So this is it. This is it down, normal. This is it flexed. So, big difference how you flex it. <laughs> so, you really need to maintain. I think that's one of the key things to do when, when you get cosmetic work done. Because it's, not just about, because it's not just about the surgery itself, but it's what you do after. And I wanna show you guys and unveil my body. 
So I've been wearing a corset and my binder. They actually recommend that you wear this for about two months, but then I'm gonna continue wearing it because I feel that it really makes an effect on my body. You know how it is during the olden times when they used to wear corsets and they used to bind the women? This is it. So I think my waist my waistline's down to like a 22. And I'm on a, I'm using an extra small, which is on the last hole now. So, you know, I, I started with a medium, then I moved down to a small, and now I'm an extra small. So let's unveil it. Oh look, oh look how many. This is this is how many I've gone through already. So it's a lot, imagine. And you know, right after the surgery, you'll 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 be shocked because you're actually a little bit big because it's all, because of the swelling. But after a while, it subsides. And actually, I don't even think my swelling has gone down completely yet because we're only eight weeks in. This is the bun. So I wear another binder. This is the Wink binder just because I don't like the corset directly on my skin. And there you go. <laughs> what do you guys think? You know, one of the things that I was afraid of talaga was the belly button. I kept on asking Doc, Doc, if I'm gonna do this procedure, I need to know what my belly button will look like because some are really, really weird. Ah. Look, it looks even better than my original one. <laughs> so check it out. This is the body. So next steps. Um, I'm gonna be working out more because now long that I can resume my workout. So little by little baby steps, Doc was giving me the go signal to do more rowing. Cycling, um, a little bit of yoga na. I can start doing some stretches na. Working on the abs because I had to stop all of that because I had to heal properly. But now Doc said that I can resume na slowly, even weight training. And once I do that, plus diet, pack. The abs are gonna be out soon. So I'm so happy with the results. And I'm sure you guys can appreciate the before and after too. good lighting the status so the abs are coming out now do you guys see it and look what's important to me is number one the belly button number two no more jiggly skin and overhead body by the ivy clinic enjoyed it and got inspired with Kat Arambolo. I'm so happy that she's so open and willing to share her story to all of us. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. See you on our next Ivy Day. Bye! Hey, Kelly! Alright, let's go! Uh, time to enjoy the weekend. Go. Let's go! Bye! 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 Bye!